What is your favourite spot on the campus at UQ? Oh, sorry, it's the wrong question. I'm supposed to introduce myself, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's try again. All right. If I want to do a major in aerospace engineering. <laughs> I'm going to get some water. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mirta. I'm a student here at UQ, and I'm here today with Chris, who's a lecturer in mechanical and aerospace engineering. And we're here today to answer some questions. Cheers. Thank you. All right. Looks like I've got the first question. What is mechanical and aerospace engineering? Okay, so mechanical engineering, I guess to start with, the broader topic is essentially the engineering, well, the engineering of machines. So if you're an engineer who works in any kind of machinery, I guess the thing we always think about because of mechanical is, I guess, cars or gearboxes, things like this. But it's all kinds of things, right? It's like it's everything from, say, ventilators to planes, right? So, yeah, the aerospace side is, a mechanic, is I guess, well, for the mechanical side, a mechanical engineer who works on planes, well, either planes or rockets, either, either the aeronautical side or, or the aerospace side. So, yeah, it's a very varied field, which I think is very interesting. And yeah, it gives an engineer the chance to work on all kinds of stuff, because if you have a machine, it's not just how it spins or how it moves or doesn't move if you don't want it to move. It's also what materials do you make it out of? How do you manage noise? How do you manage heat? How do you have fluid flow through it? All, like all kinds of things. I think it's, to me, it's the most interesting type of engineering, but I, I might have a bias there. <laughs> so if I wanted to do a major in aerospace engineering, what are my options? Okay, so at UQ, the mechanical engineering specialization sits inside the Bachelor of Engineering. And then inside there, you've got five different majors you can pick. You've got aerospace that we're talking about, biomedical, fire safety, materials, and mining. So yeah, if you want to study aerospace, you would pick the mechanical specialization and then the aerospace major inside that. So Mirta, first question for me to ask, why did you choose the University of Queensland? I chose to study at UQ because of the opportunities. So when I was looking at universities, basically all around the world, um, I found that I could do a dual degree in engineering and arts at UQ. I found that there was a centre for hypersonics in which a lot of specialisation for aerospace in particular was available. Um, and in addition to that, there's UQ Ventures and everything else that was encouraged. So it was really the opportunities across the board that I thought put it above everything else. All right, next one's for me. Why do you enjoy teaching mechanical and aerospace engineering? Okay, so I've had some pretty broad teaching experience. I also, I'm a hypersonics researcher and I've taught the, the advanced fourth year courses where I get to teach the content which I research, which is great because you get to really understand the fundamentals of your field and teach that to people who are first at experiencing that, which I think is a very great great experience. But my other teaching has been in first year. I've taught a course called ENGS 1200, Engineering, Modeling and Problem Solving, where the students actually de design a plane and then they fly it, at, like, fly it at the end of the semester. So it's great to get to help them get that practical knowledge and I guess see how they go at, go at the end of the semester. Some of the planes fly very well and others kind of fall apart and there's a lot of <laughs> disappointment. But it's a very good learning experience for the students, I think. And it's been great to get both that advanced fourth year kind of experience and also that first year experience when I guess they're, they're green little kids about to start their engin engineering education. Um, so why did you choose to study mechanical and aerospace engineering? So I've always loved space, everything space from astrophysics to just grabbing a telescope and looking up at the night sky. Um, but I also love challenging and complex problems. And I feel like mechanical and aerospace engineering in particular gives a unique way to approach those challenges. So it's basically teaching me all the tools I need to have an impact, especially in this you know, exciting time in the industry. All right, next question's for me. What career opportunities are there for mechanical and aerospace engineers? Okay, so there's lots of di different opportunities. There's big, a a big established aerospace companies in Australia, like Boeing and Airbus, the big things everybody's heard of. There's a lot of rocket companies starting in, in Australia and New Zealand like Gilmore Space Technologies, Rocket Lab, and there's also big rocket companies in the US, like SpaceX, there's companies in Germany, in um, Europe. Yeah, so if you get this degree, there's a lot of opportunities to work all around the world in the aerospace field. And then there's a local, there's hypersonics, which I work in locally, um, and that's getting bigger as, as well. So there's a lot of different types of things. And the, the aerospace field is also good because it's so, Vary. Lots of people will might go and be a structural engineer or a payload engineer, or you could go work on coding or things like that. There's all kinds of different things in this in this field, which is nice. What does the future of this industry look like? Um, I think the future of aerospace on the aeronautical side is largely going to be related to 
trying to reduce the carbon footprint of airplanes. So it's really going to be optimizing the designs as much as possible to get the most efficiency out of the engines, to make the planes lighter using more complex ma composite materials, things like this. And then I guess space is going to become a much larger thing in the in the 21st century, trying to make, like SpaceX is doing, make rockets reusable, or companies trying scramjets to get to space, companies like Rocket Lab trying to optimize the rocket as far as possible, just really trying to make space, I guess, not re really the final frontier anymore, but somewhere over which we can go and come back from regularly. And I guess hopefully humans will go to Mars and come back, which is a big, a big technological problem and is going to take a long time. And But yeah, like, like all these things, I mean, it's going to be a very exciting century for aerospace engineering, I think. Okay, so I think this might be the last question. Um, do you have any advice to high school students who are interested in studying mechanical and aerospace engineering? I think that if you're interested in your STEM subjects currently, then continue doing them and get involved. Mechanical and aerospace engineering has so many different opportunities, from race cars to planes to rockets. Um, the opportunities are endless and especially the aerospace industry, it's only just getting started. You can shape what the future for that is going to look like by taking this career path. Um, and I think that's really exciting.